the word. Have you heard the saying, April showers bring May flowers? As everything around me has begun to grow and thrive again, I am reminded of the sower, the seed, and the ground. The scriptures say, a sower went out to sow his seed, and as he sowed, some fell by the wayside, and it was trodden down, and the fowls of the air devoured it. And some fell upon a rock, and as soon as it was sprung up, it withered away, because it lacked moisture. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprang up with it, and choked it. And other fell on good ground and sprang up and bare fruit an hundredfold. Now the parable is this. The seed is the word of God. Those by the wayside are they that hear. Then cometh the devil and taketh away the word out of their hearts lest they should believe and be saved. They on the rock are they which, when they hear, receive the word with joy. And these have no root, which for a while believe, and in time of temptation fall away. And that which fell among thorns are they which, when they have heard, go forth and are choked with cares and riches and pleasures of this life and bring no fruit to perfection. But that on the good ground are they which in an honest and good heart, having heard the word, keep it and bring forth fruit with patience. Since the sower is sowing the word of God and the ground is my heart, I should be actively, actively aware of the word being given to me. Not taking the word presumptuously, but with intent and reverence. Not setting it aside, but guarding it always so that what God gives is not stolen, but kept that my heart never grow hard and bitter when faced with troubles and hardships, that I may be instant in prayer, always praying with thanksgiving in my heart and remembering that a covetous heart can never be fruitful because it is not trusting in God, nor thinking on God, nor pleasing to God. The eyes of this heart are looking down to the things below and not above. Therefore, I must cultivate this ground by meditating in the word of God, allowing the watering of the spirit through the scriptures with my heart focused upward always, looking up.
Dearly beloved children, be enlightened with understanding that your heart may be good for planting, growing, and harvesting, that God's abundant will for you be carried out now and forever. You have been given the word from the Lord. You got a word from the Lord. God said he's going to do it. You got a word from the Lord. The Almighty says he will get to it. He's gonna arise. He's gonna arise. Stretch out his arm and set to it. got a word from the Lord. Hold on to it. Guard it. Watch and pray. Speak it out often. Believe and keep on believing and bring forth God's promises for you. 30, 60, and 100 fold. Yes! <laughs> this has been a word from your sponsor.